Okay. Today we're going to be going to the Fire Academy. I applied. I actually surprisingly um, got accepted. But today we're going to be R RCFD. That's not what it's called. I forget what it's called. But, yeah. So hopefully this is going to work out well for me. Hopefully I can become my dream job, a firefighter. But they told me to just walk in. Oh, I also got a new haircut. What do you guys think? I don't like it, but... So... Hey! Hi, sir. Hey, um... So yeah, he's telling me to go to the cleaning room when he's ready. Who was that? Uh, that that's the fire marshal, uh, the chief of the fire department, sir. Uh, uh, okay. How well, can I help you today? Um, I'm here for um, fire academy. I was um, accepted, and I got an email the other day saying that tomorrow I need to start fire academy. Oh yeah, uh, actually you are gonna be with the fire chief. Oh, I'm gonna be with the fire chief. Can I come through this door? Yeah, yeah, here. Okay. Come here. Uh, I'll show you. Over here. I'm a little nervous. And right here. Hello. Hope you make it. Hello. Hey, sir. Uh, just follow me to the training room real quick. Okay. And remind me your name again. Uh, name is Drew. Drew. Well, I'm Fire Chief Cole. I've been here at RCFD for about. Fourteen years now. Fourteen. Sort of medical, uh, you know, command just recently, but yeah. All right. So welcome to RCFD Academy. Today we'll be going over apparatuses, some station rules, some station protocols, procedures, things like that. So uh, we'll have a short uh, quiz and written exam at the end. But for now, Speaking. I will just go ahead and. Tell you some of the rules, and then you can see our crew and the apparatuses and stuff. Okay. So, first rule, no bunker gear inside of the station. Something like this would be fine. Bunker pants and maybe a t-shirt with suspenders or something. But mm -hmm. do not have your full turnout gear on inside the station. Makes sense. Uh, when we put that on it, we call it bunking up. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's only done when you get the call and you're dispatched, or you're put on standby and you're a firefighting apparatus, and you're about to, you know, leave the station, then you can put that on. Uh, have your mask and everything off, and you put it on when you get on scene, and you're done uh, starting all your lines and stuff. Uh, yeah, there's a uh, bay code, I'll talk about that later. There's just a couple things with the vehicle, so why don't you follow me out here to the uh, apparatus bay, and I'll show you where I'm. Okay. So, so this is where everything goes down. Um, this, this is, is my truck. You know, it's just my truck, the command car. Uh -huh. This, yeah, this is our. He's he's a high rank enough. Um, but yeah. Oh, we got a call. Hang on. Let's see if it. So that's near the kind of downtown area. So we're not gonna get dispatched to that. Um. Uh -huh. Station 3 is going to get dispatched to that, but, uh, yeah. So this is our mm -hmm. engine. Today we're only running, uh, rescues, ladders, engine, and command. Mm -hmm. We would have a, uh, medical right here, but there's a, you know, Station 3 is, like, really nearby, mm -hmm. and they have two medicals today, so we don't really worry about it. Yep. This is where our, yeah, this is where our tanker truck would park if we want to run one of those today, but we do not. Uh, here's the engine. This is engine 12. Uh, it looks like he's refilling the stuff. Here is... Uh, here's rescue 21. Okay. And here's ladder 58. Yep. So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah. So, whenever we get a... Here, here, come here real quick. Let me get you your uh, uniform and everything. Oh, I already get a uniform? Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be the... Uh, Third one. Third one in the rack? Yes. So, yeah. So, this one? So, just one over. Yes, that would be yours. Okay. So, uh, 
Yeah, here I'll this is pretty nice and pretty comfy. So this is bunk three. Mm-hmm. It's bunk two, that's my bunk. And then bunk one you're gonna share with black helmet over there. Okay. And then our uh, ladder truck and our rescue share a bunk as well. Okay. Okay. So yeah, this is basically just uh you know, they always say firefighters are good cooks and that kind of shows. Yeah. But yeah, we just like to make some food here. Uh, yeah, you can chill whilst you be over here. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I will... So, today you'll be riding along... Oh, you'll be riding along with Engine. Okay. Engine 12. And, um... Okay. Yeah, so... You'll go on scenes to the scenes that engines are dispatched. Uh, who knows, we might get a medical call here are and there, they, are these but like, I can... Your right question is, are these like, um, like, um, what, how should I say it? Like, fake scenes, or are these like real scenes? They'll be real scenes. Uh, if, if you, so, you, you did pass the first phase one, which, yeah. you know, so, your notes say that you can use your mask properly, the notes also say that you are, um, you know, ed eligible to go on some real scenes with us. If anything happens at all, we're gonna grab you out of there. Someone's gonna take you back, and you'll get evaluated while we finish the scene. Okay. But so you have nothing to worry about. But if you want to hop in here, I'll show you our other station, which I think is off duty at the moment. Uh huh. Are we going to it's save? Command. It's really n not like a really really short drive, but it's not like a long drive either. Uh, you will be coming here often, especially since you'll start out with a, a tanker, mm. and, you know, that'll, you know, tankers go both because it's a part of Wildland, and this is where all the forests and stuff are. Yeah, You makes know, the sense. mountain and everything. Makes sense. So, here, we're just coming in back here. Yeah, no, I've been here before. Yeah. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. Command 1, Station 2. So if I don't get any response over the radio, then definitely not. But, um... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me turn off the alarm. Alright, so... Yeah, everything's just, you know, the same as it was last time, but... Mm -hmm. So your uniform in here is actually going to be, I think they put it in this one over here, yeah. And yeah. uh, it's just a, a smaller tank that you can put in your truck when you're here because they don't have a lot of tank supply. Yeah. But yeah, so we'll head back over to the city and we'll start the day, see what the uh, world wants. Well, it looks like he changed out his thing for a medic. What is he doing? Is he trying to stab? Oh. Hello, sir. Um, yes, yeah. I grabbed the ambulance now. Yeah. Um, so back for day yeah, two, I guess. Supposed, yeah, the next scene is gonna be medical. Okay. Um. You guys, quit staring at me, boy. My God, you're mean. You're, you're abusive. I just surrender. No. <laughs> what is this? But yeah. <laughs> Bro's glasses are so oh, here. small. Let me give oh wait, you a do I get a do I get video. a um cool hat like this? Uh, you will after your academy. Okay, let me give you a tour inside the ambulance. Hop in. I don't want a tour of the ambulance. Fine. All right, so right here in the middle is the stretcher. Uh, it works pretty simple. I'll tell you how to use it when we get to the scene. Then we've got. Just a, a couple seats. This is a monitor, we call it an EKG. We've got uh, IV bags, saline, stuff like that up here. It's being cooled. This is a Lucas device. Oh, hang on. Let me shoot. Oh, cool. oh. Okay. Station one, station one, be advised. Call near in between postals of 212 213 River City parking garage. Uh, male complaining of chest pain, engine one, medic one, respond. 
Alright, so we'll wait for engine to roll out. Medic 1 is 97. Okay, so this is chest pain. Could be anything from guys have a, a heart attack. Uh, it could even be something like a kidney stone. Uh, it could be asthma. It could be a lot of things. I think that's where he is. That was him right there. Yeah. Engine 1, be advised. I'm backing up into here again. Okay, engine, that's a little rough. Those engines are close. Alright, grab uh, the... I'll grab the monitor and stuff. Okay. Alright, so it's just, uh, you're just watching them. Mm-hmm. Alright, hey, sir. Alright, so you're complaining of chest pain? Engine, start a, a 12 lead. Alright. So, my, uh, partner here, he's gonna attach some little wires to you. And it's just you can't feel your head. How do you feel? So like if if so if I touch your head, you can't feel it. What if like, he could that like his lungs could have decompressed? What do you mean? Okay, well, this... he's breathing, so his lungs didn't decompress. This guy's crazy, and man. Decompressing it is good, actually. Le okay, you can't feel your leg. Okay, so. Drew, do you have the 12 lead? You should have learned that in phase one. Yeah. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Okay. So we're going to put these... My partner here is going to put some wires on you, and uh, he, we're just going to see what your heart's doing, okay? okay. In the meantime, so uh, can you tell me exactly what's going on, exactly what your symptoms are and everything? Is it just the chest pain and leg? Is there anything else that I need to know about? Feel like I thought? Okay, you probably did. Keep to anything. I attach this stuff, so. Okay, are you, are you allergic to anything, sir? Okay. Uh, are you, are you taking any medications? So, Seal, you have a Sharpie in your pocket. Write this all on your hand. Mm -hmm. uh, write S dash. Um, oh, just write like S dash chest pain slash mm -hmm. leg numbness slash. Fell off roof. I think his head's a little. I think. Slash he's... fell. Yeah, just slash fell. Uh, um, oh, he's... shoot. Medic 123. Forgot to call myself on scene. Okay, and then write. KDA and then write, mm -hmm. um, yep. mm -hmm. uh, and then just write no, uh, RX. Okay, gotcha. Okay, sir. Uh, do you have any past medical history? Anything that you were diagnosed with? That... Start wrapping no, this okay. up. No, Start wrapping this up for this section. Yeah, I got you. So now write no MHX. Okay. And then, sir, do you. Okay, you know what, never mind. You don't need to do that with me. Okay, so, so you know, look at the monitor there and you see, so there's uh, three rhythms. There's asystole, there's a V fib, mm -hmm. and there's a fib. Mm -hmm. V fib is when your heart is beating and pumping blood. A fib is like your heart's like shaking. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so at the moment he is in V fib, which is good. Oh, asystole is like nothing. So he's got a good rhythm. Uh, his heart rate's good, his blood pressure's good, his uh, blood sugar is a little low, which, so, you know, that could be something. So, I would, sir, are you a diabetic by any chance? Yeah, engine one, you're free to go. Sir, are you a diabetic by any chance? No, okay. So, yeah, we'll probably just give him, uh, Dextrose when we take him, so and we'll go ahead and do that now. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's passed out. Okay. Could have been really anything. Yeah, well, he did have the low blood sugar. So you'll run in there and get uh, Dextrose. Mm. Uh, there should be an IV bag with it. Okay. Okay, here we go. Out of roleplay, do you have a pulse? 
Just say that you do it to save time. No, say that you do have a pulse. It saves time. Yes. Say that your pulse is normal. Mm, let me put in some info. Okay. Say pulse is normal, boy. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, um, enter, withdrawal. I think I'm gonna withdraw $45. Okay, alright, this pulse is normal. We gave him the dextrose. Uh, yep. you should be waking up now. Wink, wink, you should be waking up now. <laughs> wink, wink. Boston, you should be waking up now. Say it. Oh. Okay, sir, so your blood glucose dropped a bit. Uh, you passed out. We're gonna, we gave you the stuff you need. We gave you a little sugar. We're gonna take you over to the hospital to be safe. So yeah, this is a striker. So you can lower it, put them on it, and then basically you just, oh, you, good night, why don't you just bring it to the back, and then there's these little hooks, mm -hmm. and you hook it on, you press a button, it raises, and then you can just slide them in, mm -hmm. uh, and then, so you go back there and sit with him, okay. just monitor his stuff, tell me, give me like stats, give me his BP, SPO2, pulse, stuff like that. Alright, let's medic one and round uh RCCH. You're gonna medic one with station eleven RCFD. We're gonna have times one patient ETA five seconds out. Times one patient uh hypoglycemic, no non diabetic NKDA, uh leg numbness that we treated in chest pain, passed out one time, gave dextrose. Uh Vitals were good, except for the low blood sugar. We're in the back of the hospital. So that's how we would. That's how you're trained to uh, say it to the hospital. Mm -hmm. But really, don't do this. But I kind of just say, um, RCCH, we're not to your hospital. He's not dead. It will be there in like 10 minutes. So. You hear that? Looks like a gas station. Wait, a gas mm -hmm. station exploded. Da, da, da. Chief, where oh, are you? Man. Chief! Chief, 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 yes, Chief! Yes, sir, how can I help you? Whoa, 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 what's going on? A gas station what's exploded! I know, I... It's the one over there. We should be able to see the smoke. It's over by the bank. Yeah, there it is. Command 197. Rescue, move your tail! Oh, it's, oh, it's... oh, everyone park on the other side of the road, please. Other side of the road. Uh, command will be set up back here. I'm gonna go run over there. This is... I wanna see this. this looks... Setting up oh my, my god, command. it's exploding even more. Engine's already set up, my god. It's a giant fire. Be advised, there are multiple fires. Alright, sir, you're gonna have to stay over by the command truck. This is you don't have bunker gear, this is too this is too much for you. You can watch from the side, but we I'm gonna get the drone out for shots because I'm just that good. Four, three. I'm surprised they even had the money in the FD for a drone. And I'm surprised you gave me permission to use it. Look at this thing. Fire is giant. Here, come look at the screen, Chief. Dang. I want to see how close I can get to the behind you. Wow, that took literally forever, but it's already done. Well, it felt like forever, but I got that out pretty fast. Everyone, mop up complete. We'll head to decon.